Hi, it's Tim with Airtight Industries again. So another real world finishing situation. I've got a piece of baseboard here and I got an obstacle in the way. And it's not highly visible. It's underneath the countertop, but you want to do a good job. But you want to do it fast and you don't want to pull out new equipment or some specialized thing. So you just want to get the job done down and dirty style. Anyway, what I got here is I made the two cuts, but then I got to do the bridge cut across the cross there, as you can see. So one technique for that, that uh, an old timer sh showed me was using a jigsaw. And I know what you're thinking, use a jigsaw like this, cut like that. But the, the technique that he gave me, and I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me, was that use the jigsaw upside down. So the idea is, is you come in here, and it does take some use, uh, some get used to, but you can see the blade there, fire it up. And so what you do is you cut along there, you turn, you cut along there. And what that does is it's going to leave you a nice clean cut because it's pulling, not pushing uh, the cut. So, eh, you know, someone's going to tell me that, you know what, you can get these special blades and uh, they push on the down, they, they cut on the downstroke of the jigsaw and you don't need to hold it upside down. Well, that's true, but it's also pushing your jigsaw up and bouncing all over the place. This gives you a really solid, um, clean cutting option situations like this. Anyway, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it in. You're going to have to take my word because I can't do it with one hand, but you have a good day. Hopefully this helps you the next time you got some finishing uh, to do on your own. All right. Till later.